Mackinac Island. It's beautiful. The Mackinac Arts Council has made a really big difference here. Today we have the 20th anniversary celebration here at Marquette Park and it's really uh, exciting to be a part of it. I was so honored when they gave me a call and asked me to be involved. You know, when Becky Barnwell first sort of thought about launching the Arts Council back 20 years ago, we were neighbors and she already had such a strong vision, but she wanted to make it really sort of Mackinac specific, make sure that we never lost sight of our horses and our children. The first music festival we did, this today reminds me of it, but we did it down at Mission Point Resort on Dre's. We didn't have a crowd like we have today because it was the early days. And then it started just snowballing. Everything started snowballing. People started participating and offering their time, their talent, their treasure, all of the things that are important to keep an arts council moving forward. I think when a community has an arts council that is filled with people that are engaged and they want to help and they want to do good and they want to lift up the arts, it only makes the community better. I mean, I look around me and I see children from 20 years ago that are now adults and they are painters and writers and poets and musicians and it, uh, it works. The Mackinac Arts Council, it works. It, it, it really taught people that you, you can be an artist. Whatever your artistic path is, you can be an artist, you can have it in your life. It doesn't have to be your full-time occupation, or it can be, but without it, life's pretty bland.